Hey guys, so I went to Lush yesterday because I was actually looking for a bathing suit bottom and I was looking through the store directory of this mall that I don't normally go to, it's kind of far away and I was like, oh my gosh, they have a Lush and I think it just opened because I hadn't seen it before Oh my gosh, it was the best store I've ever been in. It was so amazing. First of all, the people were super nice. And if you watched my last video, you know that I've been having a couple issues with mean salespeople. But they were so nice. Like, I had so much fun. Like, literally, I was, like, laughing my face off because it was just so much fun. And, um, oh, I just loved it. It was great. And when you walk in, the smell just, like, hits you like a brick wall. Like, it's so many smells at once, and it's all intense. You don't, like, know what to do with yourself. But after a while, you just get used to it. And I was just going around, like, sniffing everything. It was so good. It was so much fun. I mean, they had so many products that I had no idea about. All I really knew about was, like, the bubble bars and the bath bombs and the soap and, like, from what people on YouTube have talked about, but I checked out a lot of their other stuff. They have like hair dye, face masks, shampoo, conditioner, lotion, shower, like, I mean, anything, anything like body bath related. It was crazy. So, um, I'm just going to show you a couple things that I got and that I'm, you know, excited about. Um, the first thing I got was this soap, um, and I keep them in my little dish so it doesn't like melt in the shower, but oh my gosh. This smells amazing. It's called um, Sexy Peel, and you can see all the bits of lemon in it. Oh my gosh, it smells so lemony and so delicious. It's so fragrant, and your whole bathroom just smells like it after you use it. It's so good. It smells so yummy. I'm really excited. And then, of course, the first thing that I even picked up was the Honey I Washed the Kids soap and with the little honeycomb on top. I made sure that I had a honeycomb because I've heard horror stories of people receiving soap with no honeycomb because they just, like cut it off on the wrong end of the block but um I like felt through the package I was like yeah the honey comes there and we can buy it um but basically I was surprised when I smelt this because I thought it was going to smell like clearly like honey and it doesn't really it's got a little bit but it smells more like um like milk and honey like it really does smell like milk and honey so not straight up honey like that sugary sweet and but I mean it smells delicious like this is the kind of smell that I like I wouldn't mind smelling like this all day and it just it smells like clean and and like yummy not like gross like I want to like like I have an issue like I don't like vanilla body lotions or like sprays or anything because I, I feel like it's too like sweet and I don't want to smell like that all day this doesn't smell like that strong but it's so delicious mm, so I can see why people really like that I love that I'm so excited to use that and then um, I got a uh, bubble bar, and I don't know the official name of this. I think it's like chocolate and and like milk, chocolate and honey. It's not chocolate and vanilla. You think it would be, right? No, but it's something else. And it's got a little cube of brown sugar in there. And um, basically, how you use these is you just crack off a bit, and then you crumble it under your running bath water. And it makes tons of bubbles and some of them color your water like they had a pink one that was like covered in glitter and she like did a demo of it and it like made the water like bright pink and it was kind of sparkly actually it was weird it was so cool then they smell delicious mm, this smells really good it smells like sweet but in a soapy way but it smells great it smells amazing it's not like really overpowering because some of the scents that I didn't like in the store were really too sweet or too overpowering. But this one just smells delicious. Like, not like candy, not like chocolatey. Smells good. Get that one. I love that. And then I got um, this hair care system that they were advertising. Whoop! Out of focus. <sighs> Sorry. Um, and it basically, you picked out, like, seven products for, like, $15 or something. And it comes with little directions, which is, oh, seven items for 15 There we go. And, um, and you got two shampoos, so I picked the same shampoo, so I could try a lot of it, see if it really worked. This is called The Blonde, and it's just, it doesn't really smell that good, and it doesn't look that cool. It's just a cube of, like, dry shampoo, and you just kind of rub it in between your hands and make a cream out of it with a little bit of water. And this is meant for blondes, obviously, so I picked that up. And then I got this, it's called Jungle, and it's like a cube of green conditioner. And you, like, wipe a little bit off, like it's kind of soft. And then you rub it in your palm and warm it up. And then you rub it together and it creates like this thick conditioner. And you just put it in your hair. It's like a strong leave-in conditioner. So that's awesome. 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 
And then I got um, this hair moisturizer. It's again like a um, like a heavy conditioner, and it's called like Hisuan Wen Hua. I don't know. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what that is. It's like another language, but it's really cool. And then I got American Cream Double Strength Conditioner, and it's just a cream conditioner, like not that cool. It's just whatever. And then this is kind of cool. I like this a lot. It's called Big. And it's volumizing shampoo. They had like the different ones. They had like curly, moisturizing, whatever. And I got the volume one for big hair. And it has sea salt in it. And it smells like kind of like sea, like like the ocean sort of. It's really cool. And she said you would think the salt would be drying, like because you totally would. But she said it's actually very moisturizing, really good for your hair. So I was like, oh, that's awesome. And then I got King of the Mods styling gel. And this is just light hold. They have light, medium, and strong. And she said the strong gel, literally, it's, like, so strong, you could spike up your hair with it, like, mohawk style. Like, it is that strong. So, just beware. You were warned. Um, so, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products. So, that's it. And then they gave me a sample of Marilyn, and it's a hair conditioner specifically for blondes, Marilyn Monroe. So, that's really cool. And then, I think the coolest sample I got was this stuff called Gorgeous. It's a facial moisturizer. Now, let me explain. I was with my dad, and we were looking at all the moisturizers, and he's reading the prices. And he goes, that's not that's not 87 That's $8, right? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And then I started looking at all the tags, and it said $87.95, $87.95, dollars I was like, oh, my gosh. So I grabbed it, took it over to the lady who was so funny. And I was like, why is this almost $100? It was just like a little, like, face moisturizer jar. Nothing special. And she goes, okay, well, let me explain it to you. And basically, it's this, like, stuff that is just crazy. And it used to be in this, like, gold jar or something. It used to be, like, $500. But they basically just, like, simplified the packaging because most of that cost was because of the packaging. And um, also, Princess Diana used to use it, so it was kind of, like, famous. And, um... What it is, it's, I think it was made from orange blossoms or something, but she said it's um, made from this system called, like, cold pressing, and basically, if you think about it, to get, like, the essence of, like, a rose, like, an ounce of rose essence, you need, like, a bushel of rose petals. So, because it's so much, just to get a little bit of product, that's why it's so expensive. So, um, I got a sample of it, and I'm, like, so crazy excited because... The jar wasn't, like, that much bigger than this. I mean, it was bigger, but, I mean, I'm, I'm pumped. This is, like, crazy. So I get to use the fancy moisturizer. It's the most expensive product in Lush. But um, it was it was just an awesome time. I had so much fun in that store. So if you have a Lush near you, you run. Run to the Lush because their stuff is really great, and the, all their products work really well. And they're all natural. I have sensitive skin and dry skin. So I'm very, like, cautious about what I just put in, you know, on my body. So it is really great. I'm so excited to use those products. I'll let you know how they go. But for now, that's that, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.